Hello, welcome to the next edition of Pure Pens TV. Today we're going to have a look at my favourite pen, the Pelican M800. It's a pen that I've been using for a number of years, so we hope you enjoy seeing some of its features and what it can do. Many people consider the M800 from Pelican to be a grail pen, and I've seen it on many lists where people have put together their sort of top 10 pens, uh, and it sits alongside Parker 51s and vintage Mont Blanc lighter stocks. I'm fortunate enough to have a few M800s. Uh, it's one of the first models that I got when we started selling Pelican back in 2004. Uh, the very first pen I ever got was a black M200 from the Classic range, and then that was followed by an upgrade to the M800 Blue Striated. Um, this pen, some 13 years later, is still giving good and reliable service. I've added to the M800 collection since then with an M800 Clear Demonstrator, a special edition from 2009. Uh, which doesn't really get used, it's only been inked a couple of times. Uh, and then an M800 Brown Tortoiseshell, and this is one of the 2013 remakes. Uh, an M800 Grand Place, which I had to get from another retailer elsewhere in Europe because they weren't available in the UK. And also the recently released uh, M800 Renaissance Brown, and this one has yet to be inked. I have these four pens in an Aston leather cognac coloured case, which I think suits them quite well. So here you can see an M800 clear demonstrator up close and you can see the internal workings. Pelican started making fountain pens in 1929 which is when they patented the differentiated piston mechanism. Before that they made ink and have been doing so in Hanover since 1834. In the M800 part of the mechanism is brass as you can see in this demonstrator version. The filler knob turns to move the piston inside the barrel to fill with ink and it moves only about 3mm yet moves the piston inside the barrel about 3cm hence the differentiated description. You simply dip the nib into a bottle of ink, turn the filler knob, and this loads the pen up with ink. The pen holds around 1.5 millilitres of ink, which is twice the capacity of a standard ink cartridge, so it'll last a good deal of time, even if you do quite a lot of writing. Once it's filled with ink, you simply drip a couple of drops back into the bottle, upturn the pen and tighten the filler knob again and this will remove any excess ink from the nib and feed. The pen is available with a choice of nibs from extra fine to broad and Pelican nibs are generally quite wet so they may write a little broader than some other pen makes. Uh, they used to make a double broad and obliques but these are no longer in production. Thanks very much for watching, we hope you enjoyed that. Please do let us know if there are any other pens, inks or notepads you'd like us to review in the future and we'll do our best to accommodate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to be updated of new videos that come out and you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr and Facebook. Uh, just search for Pure Pens and you can find us there. Thanks very much, see you soon.